for great music. BBC Radio 2. What's up, guys? It's the twenty fourteen year interview, and you know, as we look back at the year twenty fourteen, I guess we would say it was uh, pretty much a really great year twenty fourteen when it comes to uh, music wise, because there's been a lot of great albums that have came out this year. Uh, especially the likes of uh, Queen, uh, Queen was their greatest hits album forever. Uh, Machine Head dropped a little bass album, Bloodstone Diamonds, uh, Nickelback, and I'll explain more further, but there's been a lot of great albums that have uh, came out this year. And there's no each and every day, I was giving you like the biggest music headlines every day. If I could just look back of all the bizarre music headlines that have happened, the one really big headline that really uh, jumped out uh, from this year was uh, As I Lay and Die from a Tunnel of Jesus. He went like AWOL. He hire a hitman to kill his uh, a hitman, sort of like a cop or whatever, supposedly, to kill his wife, and he's been sentenced to jail, and the future as a late man is pretty much done. Uh, Easy Daisy. Well, what more can you say for a band that uh, surreality hears for a band that has been releasing a lot of great albums year after year after year after year after year. But was it the latest release, Rock or Bust? I gotta say that's pretty much a bust for uh, ACDs because this, in my mind, should be ACDs' last run because, like, as I mentioned to you guys, how long does it take a band just to keep on performing, keep on playing a newer album? Every year, unlike ACDC, for example, because because Truth Be Told, I saw them live oh a couple of years back, and you know I wasn't really like the performance seeing live or it didn't really just like excite me, but with the least of these spark of us, like. Uh, Angus Young of uh, ACDC, he left the group this year because he had a stroke, so that's dementia. Because when you get old, you start, you can't remember things. And, and their drummer, February, went AWOL. He was resting in New Zealand to hire a hitman to kill two of them. And then he had like, drug charges and all that. Now he says he's ready to go back to work with. Uh, ACDC. I, th I still think that is uh, like the, the last straw because you know I was going to buy their latest album but I was just kind of like I, I, I still can't think this year their latest release is going to sell more or more copies because I don't think a lot of people think like ACDC as their quick group but many people that they should read the biggest headlines of what's happening. And now I was supposed to be like performing at uh, next year's Grammy Awards. <sighs> it's uh, uh, Megadeth. Uh, they're going through a new phase, a new look just uh, next year. Uh, Chris Brower left the group. Sean Drover left the group. The reports out like this, this could have been their their last time, but they have some of of uh, like this, uh, said that they're not they're not disbanding. They're not going their several ways. Uh, if you guys also didn't know. Uh, this year, of all the great albums that have come out every day, 
we also said, uh, said goodbye to a couple music icons that uh, passed away this year, starting with uh, Gwar owners. Uh, uh, the front man of uh, Gwar passed away because of drug overdose, which, you know, I wasn't really quite shocked, but another one that that really have just caught me off guard was uh, Wayne Stack of uh, Stack X who passed away a certain center of our bitches to his names late Sunday I was checking the music uh, latest headlamps coming out music and all and I found out that Wayne Stack of Stack X passed away I was just like I was just, I was just shocked. I was just like, because I grew up listening to this music and all that. Another one, um, uh, another music icon we just lost already, right, British blues rocker Joe Cocker, which it just surprised me. I was never expected that he would. You know, it's been a great year. I wouldn't say it's been a, a, a I would say it was a pretty much a, a very great year, 2014. A lot of great albums. But with the new year coming around the corner, I can dare say it's probably a lot more greater albums coming up in the new year. 